Daydreams. Daydreams are spontaneous, uncontrolled, and often vivid mental experiences that occur while a person is awake but not fully engaged with his immediate environment due to a lack of mental stimulation. If someone catches you daydreaming, they may say you look zoned out or lost in thought. And daydreams typically involve other people, either real or imagined. Some research has shown that daydreaming about people you know predicts positive well-being, while daydreaming about people you aren't close to predicts more loneliness and worse mental well-being. Unlike nighttime dreams that occur during sleep, daydreams take place while the individual is conscious. These mental wanderings can often involve a wide range of thoughts, fantasies, or scenarios. The American Psychological Association defines daydreaming as a waking fantasy in which wishes, expectations, and other potentialities are played out in imagination. The APA also suggests that up to 40% of our waking thoughts are daydreams. Epic dreams. These types of dreams are a little harder to explain precisely because different people interpret their dreams in different ways depending on different variables that are at play. However, epic dreams are typically very vivid and memorable adventures that are epic and profound, with long-lasting repercussions and life-changing potential in the individuals who experience them. Psychology today refers to these dreams as fantasy or comfort dreams, as they are usually positive experiences. As an example of this dream, imagine a kid who is bullied in school, dreams about becoming a superhero, or let's say an old man who is alone, dreams about traveling with his friends when he was young. Obviously, the significance of a dream depends on how the dreamer interprets it, as well as the various factors going on in their life at the moment. Many scientists have a disfavorable view of epic dreams, as they state that epic dream disorder causes individuals individuals that dream of doing unrelenting and exhausting tasks during their epic dreams to wake up feeling incredibly tired the next morning and suffer a loss of energy. False awakening dreams. False awakening dreams are a type of dream where a person dreams about waking up, only to discover later in the dream that they are still asleep. These dreams are fascinating to study, as they can lead to lucid dreaming, which we will discuss in more detail in the next section. For people who experience false awakening dreams, they often report examples where they dream of themselves doing their morning routines, such as showering and brushing their teeth, only to realize that within the dream, they are still asleep and not actually awake yet. Other people who have experienced false awakening dreams report that they frequently struggle to remember if a specific task they did happened in a dream or in real life. Lucid dreams. Lucid dreaming is a state of dreaming where the dreamer becomes self-aware of the fact that they are experiencing a dream, but the dream doesn't end. During a lucid dream, the dreamer has the ability to control various aspects of the dream, such as the dream's narrative, environment, and its characters. Compared to regular dreams where the dreamer is an observer of the situation, lucid dreamers are in control and aware of the fact that everything happening in the moment is not real and that they will wake up in reality when the dream is done. Because lucid dreamers are hyper-aware and able to influence their surroundings, the dreams feel exceptionally real and can quickly turn eerie. Lucid dreamers also have a better ability of recalling their dreams when they wake up, since the conscious awareness during the dream can enhance memory consolidation. If you want to attempt to increase your ability to achieve a lucid dream, you can practice keeping a dream journal. Although lucid dreams are usually spontaneous and reach certain people at higher rates than others, psychologists associate lucid dreaming with various benefits, including problem-solving skills, creativity, and overcoming certain fears, and it remains to be a closely studied subject. Nightmares Nightmares are distressing and frightening dreams that come in varying ranges of extremity, although the worst of them can cause strong negative emotions, like fear and anxiety. These dreams typically incorporate specific scenarios that trigger the individual dreamer's emotions, and they attack their sense of safety and well-being. Lucid dreams can often become nightmares themselves, but even regular nightmares are just as vivid, realistic, and memorable. Some nightmares use the sense of being trapped or unable to escape as frightening mechanisms to make it difficult for the dreamer to wake up. And even when the dreamer is awake, it can be hard to fall back asleep and keep a regular sleep pattern. Nightmares are caused by various factors, such as stress, trauma, Trauma, medication side effects, sleep deprivation, and certain medical conditions. They are normal among most sleepers and even common for others. However, professional attention and support is needed for 4% of adults that suffer from extreme symptoms of nightmare disorder. Night terrors. Night terrors are something similar to nightmares. However, they usually occur earlier in the night and are much shorter than nightmares, lasting anywhere from a few seconds to a couple of minutes. The person experiencing a night terror might suddenly sit up, scream, or exhibit signs of intense fear, and then go back to sleep without fully waking up. Night terrors are characterized by a more sudden and intense onset of fear, whereas nightmares are often associated with more vivid and recalled dream content. Night terrors are common in children, with estimates suggesting that around one 
one to six percent of children experience them. However, most children outgrow them. Sleep paralysis demons. Sleep paralysis is a temporary inability to move or speak that occurs when a person is either falling asleep or waking up. During episodes of sleep paralysis, individuals may experience vivid hallucinations, which can include the perception of a menacing presence or an entity often referred to as a sleep paralysis demon. These hallucinations are similar to lucid dreaming because they both feel extremely real. However, people who experience sleep paralysis report an intense feeling of pressure on their chest, contributing to the perception that a powerful or evil presence is in the room they are sleeping in. One man reported falling asleep on his couch and dreaming of himself in the third person, fighting three consecutive men that walked into his room. Once the fight ended, so did the dream, with the confused man waking up and wondering why his dream felt so realistic, almost as if he had just been in a fight. While many people find sleep paralysis scary, other people report completely different feelings of bravery and adrenaline dominating their mind during the experience. Prophetic dreams. Prophetic dreams are believed by some individuals to provide insight, guidance, or predictions about future events, with an exceptional amount of realism and detail compared to average dreams. While the idea of prophetic dreams is largely subjective and varies across culture and belief systems, many people point to historical examples to prove that prophetic dreams are real. For example, Calpurnia, the wife of Julius Caesar, reported that she dreamed something terrible was going to happen to Caesar the day before he was murdered. She warned him to stay home, but he didn't listen. And sure enough, the exact predicted fate met him hours later. A more recent historical example involves Abraham Lincoln, who is reported to have also experienced a prophetic dream just three days before his assassination. In the dream, Lincoln heard random people crying in the White House, and as he followed the sound to the East Room, he discovered a funeral was being held. When he asked who died in the White House, a soldier answered, the president. Despite these various historical examples, there has been no scientific empirical evidence to support that these dreams were real, but it does not stop people from believing them. Continuous dreams. Have you ever felt like you had a dream that was a continuation of a previous one? Just like prophetic dreams, there is no scientific evidence that supports the existence of continuous dreams. However, between 60% and 75% of American adults report experiencing them, with women experiencing them more often than men. Continuous dreams can take place nightly or sporadically, and people often compare them to the experience of reading a book or watching a Netflix series. Recurring dreams are also commonly reported, which are like continuous dreams, except instead of being in chronological order and progressing a story forward, recurring dreams tell the same story but with different outcomes. Recurring dreams have persistent themes, familiar settings, and use common symbols. Many dreamers struggle understanding why the same dream reoccurs in their mind, and there is little definitive study on this subject. Healing dreams. The belief in healing dreams come from the idea that dreams can serve as a mechanism for processing emotions, resolving inner conflicts, and promoting overall well-being. Some people experience dreams that offer insights, guidance, new perspectives on personal issues, the ability to overcome fears, anxiety, and trauma, as well as deeper understanding of themselves and their emotions. People believe this because dreams offer a consequence-free view of how certain social situations could play out. Obviously, dreams aren't perfect, as many nonsensical and illogical things happen. But the beautiful thing about them is that a creative mind can interpret wisdom from the random ideas that dreams present to us. Some people take their belief in healing dreams even farther by arguing that these dreams contribute to physical healing, but this idea is not accepted in scientific circles. Creative dreams. Creative dreams refer to phenomena where individuals find solutions to real-life problems or challenges they face through the content of their dreams. These dreams may offer innovative ideas, insights, or perspectives that the dreamer may not have considered consciously. This idea comes from the fact that the brain, during sleeping and dreaming, continues to process information related to unresolved problems or challenges from waking life. Solutions in these dreams aren't always presented in a direct or literal manner. Instead, the dream may use symbols and metaphors as well as other imaginative scenarios to represent potential solutions. Some individuals report waking up from a dream with a sudden idea or realization that helps them approach a problem in a novel way. Dreams typically encourage thinking outside the box and exploring unconventional ideas. While the concept of using dreams for creative problem solving is intriguing, it is important to note that not everyone experiences this phenomenon. If someone is interested in exploring creative problem solving through dreams, keeping a dream journal and reflecting on dream content related to specific challenges may be a way to experience this. Supernatural dreams. Supernatural dreams refer to dreams that involve elements, occurrences, or entities that are beyond the scope of scientific understanding. These dreams often feature supernatural or paranormal phenomena, such as encounters with ghosts, spirits, angels, 
mythical creatures, demons, or events that defy the laws of nature. A common theme of these dreams is the magical unexplained events that take place, such as levitation, telekinesis, or time travel. One religion that documents supernatural dreams a lot is the Catholic Church, which has recognized the importance of dreams and visions in the lives of many of its holiest leaders, which they call saints. For example, Saint Joseph, the early father of Jesus Christ, is known for having received important messages through his dreams. The Gospel of Matthew reports an angel guiding Joseph to take Mary as his wife and flee to Egypt to protect infant Jesus from King Herod's massacre. But if religious examples don't interest you, there is also the famous periodic table of elements, which few people know actually came from a dream. Dmitri Mendeleev, the revolutionary chemist, had recognized a pattern in the elements and was convinced he was close to a breakthrough. It was only when he fell asleep that the breakthrough was materialized, and he saw the table of elements, perfectly formed in his sleep. He wrote it down as soon as he woke up, and although there are some changes that have been made later, the current table is extremely similar to the one that came from his dream. Telepathic dreams. Telepathic dreams refer to the idea that two or more individuals can share thoughts, feelings, and information with each other through their dreams. The communication occurs in a non-verbal and non-physical level, often involving a form of extrasensory perception, or ESP. During telepathic dreams, the two individuals involved may report experiencing similar or identical dream content, suggesting a form of shared mental communication. These two individuals' experiences typically occur either at the same time or sequentially. Sequentially. Ideas aren't the only things shared in these dreams. Emotions can also be shared, as the two people often mention feeling the same senses at the same time. There are plenty of anecdotal accounts of telepathic dreaming, but hardcore scientific evidence remains a fierce topic of debate within the community, as research into the topic of telepathic dreams is extremely hard due to the fact that the existence of these types of dreams brings into question the entire role of and purpose of dreams as a whole. Some scientists argue that telepathic dreams dreams may be influenced by psychological factors and shared experience, while other scientists challenge this by arguing they are simple coincidences. 